I love it even more because Sarah's going to hate it. Back down at Steve Walford's again today. It's Good Friday and uh, working on the car. Just got the cool new charge pipe fitted. And I gotta say, I love that in the bay. It looks so ridiculous and so good at the same time. So unfortunately, uh, I've got the right size uh, clamps that I need for the silicon. Uh, I bought Michael Orr clamps like two years ago for the previous car. And uh, although they should be the right size, I bought one size too small. So hey, there you go, order some more. They'll be here in the week. So I'll get them fitted then. Next little job, fit some custom braided brake lines. So we're nearly done with sorting out the brakes. Uh, as expected, some of the hardline flares were shit and that's why I ended up getting Steve to redo some of them um, ahead of time. Uh, but there was a couple that still needed redoing. So uh, we've done those. The rears are completely bled. The front edge is another quick bleed. And then we have brakes, probably the clutch, and then it's time to go home. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up so at the end of that last clip i said we've just got to bleed the front and then the brakes are done and uh, i couldn't have been much more wrong so first of all we found uh, once we got a bit of pressure in the lines that one of the flexes um was leaking so i took that off prepared it put it back on that sorted that um also found a leak in uh, the main feed from the master um it was another dodgy flare, it was the one I thought was okay, but it wasn't. Um, just again, started leaking under pressure, so took that off. In taking that off, realised, hadn't put the line lock in, so, you know, blessing in disguise. Tried to put the line lock in, realised I didn't have the right size fittings, and um, long story short, we've ended up adapting it, changing it, putting different fittings on. It's all good now. Um, still not entirely convinced that we're leak-free on the front system, but just got to work you know give it a bit of time work that out because uh, it's kind of seems okay might just be a bit of spillage so i think the brakes now are done just the clutch line now it's still to bleed and then we'll have a running driving car which sounds weird except for we haven't got a charge cooler system and um if you remember from the last video or one before depending on which way around to do these videos um we took a reciprocating saw to the charge cooler rad so it'll run and drive but not for very long because we've got no charge cooling so next up then is uh, getting the clutch bled and uh almost forgot about the line lock line lock solenoid is now mounted properly so now it's time to bleed the clutch clutch is all bled brakes are all bled everything's working oh, another little job it's nearly doing for a while been putting off is the passenger side wiper didn't work and uh, looks like it's because the wheel box wasn't clamping the cable properly so i just haven't going out sorting that out hopefully i'll have two working wipers in a minute so i'm back from steve walford's and that wiper wheel box has really given me a hard time cannot get it to work for some reason i'm eventually probably gonna have to resort to taking the whole thing out of the car which is a real pain because the one wheel box that was on there when i got the car is stuck solid in the car um it works but it's stuck solid. So um, yeah, gonna have to revisit that another time. For now though, the next job we're gonna be looking at is mounting uh, the seats. And for that, I've just chopped up some wood, which I'm gonna take with me on Friday to make some temporary seat mounts and work out what metal I need to go and pick up from Rapid Metals. We'll then be back over on Sunday to get a seat mount made and also do some work on Steve's race car in preparation for a race that is just three weeks away. Just back down to Steve Walford's and trying to get the uh, driver's side seat mocked up to work out how it's gonna get mounted in the car. You can see from outside, it is kind of in line with the main hoop. And sitting kind of against that crossbar there. But I think this might be okay. I just need to get in and try it, and there's no way I'm recording that. That seating position won't work. I am too high up in the car, and my head's above the roll bar, and I'm too far forward, so my legs are all cramped. So, let's try another setup. So I decided that what I'm gonna do is adjust the rake on the uh, Kirky seat mount, drop the front down, and see if that helps. The reduced rake works, so uh, just going up to Rapid Metals now to uh, 
get the box section that I need and then we can start work on making the seat mounts. Just at Rapid Metals and picked up the metal to make the seat mounts. Heading back down to Steve Walford's now to get those made up. Okay, so all the little uh, bits of hex are now cut and uh, Steve's oldest is gonna start uh, machining those for me. And also all the box section is prepped. So they've all been drilled with uh, nine and a half mils in the top and five mils in the bottom. Just need a little bit of tidying up. I haven't got much footage because we've just been cracking on and working. Steve Aldis, he's been an absolute star getting these parts machined for me. And the first of them is done. He's working on the second one right now. And that's how it's going to go in. And we're just going to put a little couple of tacks to hold it in place. Snuck out into the garage then after work to do a little bit more work on stuff for the car to work on this weekend. First job up is the handbrake bracket. And again, I'm making this all from scrap I've got lying around. So first up is the base plate, and that is being made out of this piece of steel here. So I've marked out the line I need to cut, I'm gonna cut that out. Then I'm gonna use these plates of steel for the upright. And I'm gonna use some angle iron to bolt the two things together. I'm hoping that that's gonna be strong enough once you've got the handbrake bolt between it and also the uh, retention bracket for the ratchet but if it's not i'll just put some plates on the front and back as well to stiffen it up so i've got all the components cut and just marked out the first of the base plates with where i want to drill them so i'm going to center punch them and then drill those out what i'm also going to do is cut another piece of this base steel out drill it at the same time and then i can put that one inside the trans tunnel bracket on the top of the trans tunnel and it'll sandwich it just making it extra strong I'm one and a half holes in and uh, the battery's dry, it died on my drill. Well, it's the first time I've had to charge it since I bought it, so it's not bad going. Uh, over to Steve's tomorrow. So, might take the handbrake brackets with me and drill it over there, but I've got loads to be doing over there tomorrow anyway, so we'll just see how it goes. So Dan and Steve's going today, working on the prefect and uh, been getting the handbrake bracket sorted. And I've had uh, Steve's oldest lad helping me get that done and we've just about got it finished. I've uh, got the handbrake bracket being expertly painted by Steve's youngest. The lads have both helped me clean the floor in here this morning. So this is all now ready for the seat mounts to be welded in. Once that's done, we're gonna give the floor a bit of a clean with brake, flu um, with brake clean and then we're going to paint it with that lovely bitumen paint that uh, the youngest is currently using on the handbrake bracket. Got my assistants doing what they do best, making a mess. All right, that's the floor painted, looking very shiny in that shot, but uh, once it's dry, it should be a nice sort of satiny matte black. Boy's still doing their side. So it's just got the handbrake bracket back into place. Uh, obviously everything in here is still drying. It takes ages to dry. Just realized I uh, missed a bit over there, so I might go and finish that bit off. Also just fitted a new quick release, a nice B&G one. So it's getting there. Nearly time to fit the seats and harnesses. But that is gonna have to be the next visit because this stuff is just gonna stay too wet to do it today. So uh, we'll cut to that. Back at Steve's and I've got a whole host of jobs to get on with the car today. Um, first up, handbrake bracket, harnesses, seats. See what we can get done. First things for today then was to clear out all the stuff I've been storing in the car. And so that's looking a lot more empty. That's ready for harnesses. Before harnesses though, I wanna get the uh, battery back in and uh, also want to make up a uh, charger quick disconnect for the battery so we'll get that done first there we go one little quick disconnect put this 
cap on, which I'm going to put some sealant in the end there. And that's just going to act as a blanking cap for when it's not in use, so that uh, don't get any crap in there. So battery is battery is mostly in. It's a pain in the ass putting it in by yourself. Uh, you need to be holding a spanner and getting underneath to bolt it in, but uh, it's kind of in. I'll tighten it up properly next time somebody else is here. So they quickly, they quick disconnect the charger. That's perfect. So next up then is the harnesses, which um, the reason I'm gonna put those in before the seat is because the crotch straps and shoulder straps need to hook up at the back. It's gonna be a lot easier to do that without the seats in. There you go, that's the shoulder straps strapped to the harness bar and the crotch straps strapped to that bar. So I should now drop a seat in, put the lap belt on and have a look what it all looks like. Okay, passenger seat is in with six point harnesses. Can't really get a very good shot because there you go. Turn your head sideways. Now I've just got to do it all again for the other side. Uh, problem is I can only bolt one seat in because uh, Steve's away racing this weekend and has taken the drill with him. So I uh, can't drill the seat to fit it, but I can at least drop it into place, see what it's going to look like. There we go, both lots of harnesses and seats in place. Obviously the seats aren't bolted to the subframes at the moment for the aforementioned drill issue. But uh, yeah, it's looking ace, it's looking like a car. So back down on the car and uh, been cracking on doing a few bits and pieces but for this video the most important bit is the seats and harnesses are now in and it may not look a huge amount different so i looked in the last clip of them but the important bit is they're bolted in so for this video that is it as always thank you for watching and if you enjoyed the video make sure you give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and uh, watch our future videos next time we're going to be doing a load of fabrication for parts for the intake system